Hi everyone and welcome to Positively Kimmy. I am Kimmy. If you are new here, welcome. This is a safe space. And if you're one of my returning subscribers and my besties. Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're all having an amazing day. I hope you all enjoyed your Halloween yesterday. I'm going to show you my new Timu nails. There you go. Aren't these cute? These are so classic looking and just so, so pretty. I love them. This has a little, like, rhinestone right there. Very classic, very pretty. Um, this is Team, uh, not Team, oh my goodness, it's, this is What's Up Wednesday. And on what, What's Up Wednesday, I tell you a little bit about what's going on in my life. And just to update you so you get to know me a little bit better if you choose to. And if you want to leave me some information about you down in the comments, I will be more than happy to respond to you. And I get to know you a little bit better that way too. So I think that's awesome. First of all, um, we're going to talk about what happened with me being sick. Uh, last week, I not last week, the week prior, I believe, or last week, I, I don't remember, my brain is foggy. Um, my grandson was sick. He had something called RSV, and it's an upper respiratory virus and because it's a virus it spreads like wildfire and Mima and grandpa went up there to babysit because when my son and his wife don't go to work they don't get paid because this child gets RSV I think this is the fourth time this year he's had it so their sick time had dwindled and we decided we would babysit for the week had a blast babysitting him he was running slight fevers here and there, but for the most part, he was doing okay. He had really bad pink eye. We'd have to give him his drops. We would have to give him his nebulizer treatments. We would have to do all the things, right? And with that, by the end of that week was my birthday. I just turned 57 on October 22nd. So for my birthday, my kids and my ex-husband, actually my kids though, mostly took me out to a Brazilian restaurant, which was phenomenal. It was the best. I've always wanted to go to the one where they cut the meat right in front of you and you put it on your plate and they have this little like salad bar when you go into like the center and it's huge, it's absolutely huge. Um, you, they have this little salad bar and you ha can get salads, you can get, um, make your own Caesar salad, you can get potato salads, they have other things, but there was so much food on this bar that you could have just eaten the bar alone. Now I was told when we were going that it was about thirty four fifty a person. It ended up, we went at one o'clock, it ended up being $51 a person. That is insane to me. That is absolutely insane to me. Had I known that, I would not have let them take me there, but it was the most perfect, perfect day ever. I had the best time with my kids. We enjoyed ourselves. I ate like I have never eaten before. I think I was saving up from the Ozempic stuff and I just enjoyed myself. The food was so flavorful. It was so delicious. It was just mind boggling. And that's how my morning started. Then we get home. I'm still a little nasally. Then we get home and we decided we were going to order Chinese food. Now, I'm not, I can't eat a lot throughout the day. I can have like either a few small meals or one big meal, but I'm not one that can eat all day long. At least I wasn't able to until that day. <laughs> so we get Chinese food from our favorite restaurant. And I had, what did I have? Um, General Sao's chicken. It was so good. It was so tender. It wasn't like this. It wasn't the chicken that is stringy and tough and stuff like that. They make it so good there and their sauce is excellent. So we did that and then we had Fudgy the Whale Cake. <laughs> I should not be telling you all this. And I got the nicest gifts ever. I have to show you some of the gifts that I got. Um, my nephew who lives with me gave me two of the best birthday presents ever. He works at TJ Maxx and he gave me a Hello Kitty bath set. 
So it, it has this amazing scent to it. It has like an exfoliator and bath salts. I'm not a bath kind of girl because I will not get out of one. I can barely stand from a sitting position. So that for me would not work. And then he gave me a sleep set that comes with a sleep mask. And it's just the cutest thing. So I'm going to get that and show that to you. Okay, now these are from the Creme Shop. And it's Creme Shop uh, X Hello Kitty. So it's a collab. This is what it looks like. And you open it like this. And this is the first thing. So it has a bath bomb. It has a thing for your hair to put back. And it has a sleep mask. Absolutely adorable. I am... This was uh, originally $14.99 is what it was at TJ Maxx. And this one's really heavy, so I have to be careful. This is the same thing, the Creme Shop X Hello Kitty. And it's lovely luxury set. And it really is luxe. So I have, it's so heavy, the Hello Kitty bath bomb. I have the scrub, the exfoliating scrub and the bath salts. And this has got to weigh easily, easily nine pounds, easily. And it just closes like that. And this, if you're looking for it, would be $19.99. Again, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still congested. So that was two of my most favorite gifts that I got, plus being with my family. And Chris K., one of my subscribers, who I adore. Thank you so much. Sent me a birthday card. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. It made me it made my day. Thank you so very much. That was very sweet of you. So that happened. That night, the night of my birthday, around three o'clock in the morning, I took my temperature. I wasn't feeling well. And I had 103 fever. I was like, okay, let me just take some Tylenol, whatever. It's not a big deal. But I called up my son. I said, listen, this is what's going on. His wife doesn't work on the weekends. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. Um, at his job, he can kind of manipulate his hours. And I said, you know, um, I just want to let you know that your son got me sick. <laughs> and when I woke up the next morning, my eyes were crusted over. I had pink eye also. And I just felt kind of icky like I did not feel well so I had an antibiotic at home and no you should not do this and no I am not a doctor even though I play one on tv and I think I am um but I decided I was going to take part of the anti well I was going to take the antibiotic and just knock whatever it was in my system out and that was it so I did that the very next day I still was not feeling well and I went to the med station the walk-in medical station and they said, you know, what have you been taking at home? And because I had taken an antibiotic, everything came up negative. They don't test for RSV because there's nothing you can do for it because it's a viral infection. So I didn't test positive for COVID. I did not test positive for the flu, even though I was achy. Oh my God, I was so achy. I did not test positive for strep, even though I felt like I was sucking on razor blades. So it was just, you know, what it was. They gave me eye drops for the pink eye. Cause it was it was gross and it's painful like real pink eye when you're in school and you're younger you rub your eyes and you go to the nurse and you're like oh my god i have pink eye it really hurts like when you sincerely have pink eye it really hurts so i was like okay um let me call my doctor if i'm not feeling good in a few days and see what he says and he gave me an antibiotic for three days did nothing it got rid of the sore throat and I've been taking Tylenol for sinus. I've been taking Chloroside and HPB for high blood pressure and all this other stuff. And I'm still so congested and I still have icky, gross stuff. So tomorrow I will be going to the ENT and see if it's a sinus infection um, and if he can order me something for that. I've been using a neti, well, it's not a neti pot, but it's like one of those things you stick up there and it's gross. Um, but I've been using that and I'm still taking like hot showers, just anything to get it to drain. I go through literally a box of tissues a day and it's amazing how many things can come out of one person's nose. Like it's, it's just incredible to me. So as today, yesterday 
um, was Halloween. I went as Mrs. Potato Head. My ex-husband went as Mr. Potato Head. My grandson went as Buzz Lightyear. My daughter-in-law went as Rex the Dinosaur. My son went as Woody. And my other son didn't get dressed up <laughs> because they forgot to order his costume. Um, but we had the best time. My grandson is now 19... 19 months old or 20 months I'm not sure he's 19 months old on my birthday he was and it's just amazing he was so nervous that he would like say hi but kind of back up at the same time but we had a great time and we did a lot of walking so that was really good um let's see oh so when I was sitting home <laughs> watching my YouTube videos I decided I saw this thing that said oh five minute meal or set it and forget it type thing and I used to have like an instapot and at my ex-boyfriend's house which is stayed with him currently and that's fine um but I decided I want to try a crock pot now if any of you have a crock pot do you really use them because I know I got one when I was married but I didn't even know what a crock pot was but I'm seeing all these recipes that you can do in the morning you just set it and you just go about your business and then when it's done people can help themselves and serve themselves and I don't have to do anything but throw all the ingredients in and do very little which is the kind of cooking I like to do <laughs> you know but I so I told my sister that's what I wanted her to get me for Christmas was a crock pot because she's the cook in the family and she's an excellent cook and she swears by a crock pot where I love my air fryer but I can't make certain things in the air fryer. Like you can't do soups in an air fryer. So, you know, I want to try stuff like that. Um, or yeah, stuff like that. So if you have a slow cooker or a crock pot, let me know if you really use yours um, and how often you use it, whether or not it's really something you think I'm going to use or you think that I should just say nah. But I was, so I was obsessed with YouTube videos and watching my crock pot and slow cooker recipes. And I am so excited to get this. Like I am really and truly excited to do something that looks like I can actually do. And I don't have to look at a recipe card and make sure that I got it right. I can actually sit there and just put in these ingredients, even frozen, and just put it on low for a longer period of time. I'm going to try and deforce my meat, of course, first. But I don't, I don't know if it makes a difference. But I'm so excited about this. So that's happening by Christmas, but I'm hoping to get it before Christmas because in my family, my sister and I exchange gifts all year long and we don't need one special day to to do something for somebody. Even though I got her two, I've given her most of her Christmas presents that I've had for her already because I just can't wait. But there are two things that I've gotten for her that she does not know about yet and I can't put in this video, but I'm going to do a haul and show you when the rest of the stuff comes in, the two things that I got her, because she is going to be knocked out, and I'm just so excited. And let's see what else. Um, so that, yeah, that's basically been my week. So I was sick. I'm still nasally. I'm still congested. I go to the doctor tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be getting a crock pot, and I'm so excited. But please, 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 if you use one, let me know how you like it because I don't want her throwing away money on something that I'm going to get bored with, but I have seen at least a hundred videos and I know the recipes I want and I keep seeing like similar themes into what you need. So I'm going to go and buy some spices and all kinds of like things. I'm just so excited about that, especially because I can't cook very well. Like what I cook, I cook amazing, but anything I don't cook, nobody eats. Like, <laughs> we don't eat when I don't cook. And what I cook is probably, like, five things really well. And there's only so often that you can eat those five things. Okay? So, with that being said, I hope that you enjoy your rest of your week. I'm going to be trying to put out another video. I'm hoping that the doctor gives me something to clear all this stuff up. And in the meantime... Be happy, be healthy, be blessed, and most of all, be positively you because there's no one else quite like you and that makes me so incredibly happy. You guys rock.